Okay, so here we have the Aqua Lab, the indoor area of the urban farm. Um, this is where we'll be raising our fish, growing our mushrooms, uh, buying out different hydroponic, aeroponic systems, um, seeing what systems are viable, what can be upscaled, made into a uh, more sustainable system. So. Uh, this room is being uh, being helped out by uh, Belfast Indoor Gardening up in Northern Ireland, uh, the big shop, BIG, Belfast Indoor Gardening. They're helping us out with a lot of our equipment costs, uh, sourcing materials, a lot of stuff. So, what we got? We're working with a lot of General Hydroponics, uh, General Hydroponics Europe, GHE. They're, uh, they're, very, they're a very good company, they use a lot of good materials, uh, a, lot of, a lot of nice things. Anyway, let's have a look what's going on here. Lots of air stones, air ratchets, uh, fluorescent lights, uh, propagation equipment, uh, different types of jiffy plugs. We won't be using any soil in here, so we'll be using a lot of cocoa medium, hydrogen pebbles, um, no soil. What's going on here? This is a, this is a rainforest. So the rainforest, this is an, uh, an AS 80, 82 site propagator. Uh, this basically works by uh, creating a very fine mist. It's an aeroponic propagator. So basically your, your plants, your young cutting seedlings will be sitting in these one inch rock, uh, one inch uh, neck cups. And their roots will be suspended within the reservoir below. And then the vortex motor, you see in the middle, spins around very quickly. And that basically creates a, uh, breaks up your water, any nutrient solution you might have in there with the oxygen creates a very fine mist for the root system. In here we have 150 tilapia. They're, um, they're going to be going to our aquaponic systems. They're at the currently about three to four weeks old, so hopefully under the ideal conditions in about seven months uh, in time for Christmas. They'll be ready for Christmas dinner. They'll be plate size and we'll be eating these guys. It's 150 now. There's some, uh, some little guys, mixed, mixed sex, male and females. And then in this big tank here, there's a solitary male. He's a breeding male. Um, it's down here somewhere. There he is there. Oop, there he goes. So uh, this is uh, quite a large fish tank. This should be a gura fish tank, a pedicure fish tank. So people used to sit up here on the top bench. They hang their feet inside that and they, uh, they get manicured from feet to food. I probably shouldn't have mentioned that, but this is going to turn into an aquaponic system. We'll have a few display tilapia in this guy and some sort of a window farm uh, vertical system in the window here. Um, here we have different uh, NFT nutrient film technique um, tra tray systems. These will be also different microgreens growing all the way up here, so we're going to utilize the light from this space from that window. Uh, lots more guard, uh, big trays, gardening trays, soccer hoses, again more equipment uh, sponsored from Belfast Indoor Gardening. And here we have a few different environmental control systems, this is quite old, this actually came with a, with a floppy disk, so <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of old. Uh, here we have some waterproof switch boxes, these are great, they have all different flashing lights in them, I like flashing lights, flashing LEDs. Um, up here we have different aero pot systems. So these uh, these air pruned roots, as the roots come out of the uh, the holes here, the uh, the air will prune them, so they'll go back and spin around a bit. More roots, more shoots. So um, we'll see what's good for those guys. Uh, we should be trailing edible flowers off the top of these uh, these guys up here. Uh, I love these fans. They're slick, aren't they? I like them. Right then. So what's going on in here? This is an urban farm that started doing spray on tans. So this is our spray on tan boot. <laughs> this is was this is uh, was maybe might be where the uh, the mushrooms are grown. Uh, it could also turn into a large uh, hydro tent. Well, I'm not too sure at the moment. Uh, we're working on it, but anyway, it's going to be very productive. Whatever we have going on here, we actually. This might have one of some of these guys here. Again, we use a lot of uh, GHG, General Hydroponics. So that's the, uh, the Dutch Battle system. So Belfast Indoor Gardening, they have a, um, a 48 pot system. That's a 24, so that's a 24. So imagine those two together is a 48. 
So I could be uh, running aeroponics on this side here. Um, there's a hundred and something different plants in that one. Uh, what is this? 120 plants. So if I had both of them going aero, I'd have 240 plants growing in here. So I could have a lot of different herbs, um, a lot of different salads, uh, salad greens. As you can see, the growth sites are quite close together, so you wouldn't want anything too manic. But certainly, this could be a very productive uh, tent. These are that's four foot four tube maxi light array, maxi bright, maxi light, maxi bright. Of course, they're T fives. They're um, uh, highly efficient fluorescent lighting. There's the hill there. Get some energy in my glow in the, sh glow in the dark shoes. No, they're not glowing. But anyway, uh, so this is a secret garden grow tent. It's quite an impressive piece of kit. Uh, I can zip that up. It's completely life proof, so that gives me complete environmental uh, environmental control of whatever I'm trying to grow and produce in there. This is more general hydroponics of Europe. This is a uh, the water farm system. So basically there's a main reservoir, there's a bottom uh, top up tank on the bottom here that maintains the same level as all these other um, grow buckets, uh, grow buckets water farms. Um, this acts through an airlift system, a uh, Ventura system. The water is recirculated through the mall, so it's very good for growing, uh, growing single nice big bushes. We'll see what we grow in there. Nice input. Nice simple production. All this plastic then is that's all from uh, it's all recycled uh, plastic. Uh, what's going on over here? These are aero wings. So there's a plate of glass that basically slides down in the front of this. So if you're growing with uh, high intensity discharge lamps, uh, 600, 400 watt, perhaps say in that tent there, uh, it can get quite hot. So you can hook these all up together through uh, ducting. And duck the air out of the uh, out of the uh, the grow environment and uh, perhaps into the nourished space in the building that need require some heat. This is a uh, more general hydroponics. This is an Aeroflow system. This is an Aeroflow 84. So again, the the plants are grown in the pebbles. It's very small pebbles in these neck cups, and a high pressure pump uh, will um, deliver a very fine mist, nutrient mist to the plant's roots. Um, very highly efficient system. It's very um, can be a very tricky system to run sometimes. Once you know what you're doing, you're kinda, you kind of you can keep the running. They can be um, they can be very unforgiving. There's no buffer between your nutrient solution and your plant because you're you're, you're basically growing in water. You know, so you got to be you got to be spot on with a system like this. The Aeroflow 84. These are our uh, tilapia aquaponic tanks. So this is where the 150 tilapia are going to be going into. These are four 600 liter uh, fish tanks. And then on top of them is a 250 liter grow bed. Um, these are IBC containers, international bulk containers. So these came from Diageo. Um, they used to have baby's essence in them. They'd be washed out, sprayed up, cleaned up, uh, cut up, flipped over. Uh, few more things to do with them. We have, we'll be growing in hydro pebbles with these, so Belfast and Gordon have provided us with a lot of, uh, with about 22 50 litre bags of pebbles which are downstairs on the ground floor. It's 97 steps upstairs and I'll get them up here eventually. They need to be brought up here, washed, get the fine dust off them and then we can set the beds um, and get them to go on, get thing, everything growing on. There will eventually be um, another vertical system above these tanks as they get more mature so we can um, we'll, re we'll be utilizing all the space on top of that this here is a very nice piece of kit um, it's a lamp from Ikea uh, it says in about 20 different languages up here do not fill with water so uh, it's a bucket with a lamp inside it so fill that with water and we'll see what happens uh, again what's our general hydroponics nutrients. We got nutrients from Canna also. Um, oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> 20 liters of Formula X. That's a great uh, young plant tonic. Uh, lots of PVC pipe. We need that for the drip assistance for the rooftop. Um, that's kind of it for the moment. Um, different um, nutrient film drip system techniques. Um, 
we got a few uh, rock wool grow slabs, we got a, a big lot of uh, 16, a big box of them, a lot of, of different um, large rock wool cubes for growing in. Um, there are cocoa grow slabs. Um, well, that's really it for the moment. Hope you enjoyed that. I think that's the, uh, I think the aqua lab, the hydro lab is really coming on. Slick, huh? Well, maybe I'll show you the uh, our workspace out here. <laughs> so this is where it used to be. So we have a lot of the old bits and bobs. There's all sorts of things in here. Bits I've picked up over the time. You know, there's the propagation. Um, that's in the propagation tent. I must clean that up and get that in size. Humidifier. Uh, lots of different pipings, uh, NFT systems. There's my old hammock. Uh, got some pumps. Lots of electronics. We've got our fish tweeting and so forth. Um, a few bits and bobs, more, more electricals, everything else. So eventually all this stuff would be cleaned up, um, brought inside and fed into the systems, put back it together again. So that's how it's looking anyway. That's the aqua lab.